What's up guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name's Jake. Welcome to the JD Cars Automotive YouTube channel. Please be sure to go check us out at jd-cars.com. Follow us on Instagram at jd.cars and please be sure to subscribe for more content. So today we have our first modification for my WR250R. Uh, out of pure necessity, we're gonna be replacing the front levers on the bike because I laid it down on the right side and broke my front brake lever. So definitely want that to be working. Working. So we're gonna be swapping them out today for a set of MZS tuning blue anodized aluminum levers and they are folding levers that will fold back in the event that I lay the bike down again, which is pretty likely. <laughs> but yeah, let's pull this thing out of the shed, wheel her into the garage and get to work. So stock levers on this bike like any bike they're really basic the clutch lever is a full four finger lever along with the brake lever um, i'm not a huge fan of having the huge lever i just don't really need all that leverage especially for my braking and throttle hand i like to keep you know two fingers on here our new mzs levers i believe they're a three finger design which should be nice um, looking forward to that difference but before we jump into the disassembly let's take a look at these new levers So first and foremost, yes, this is a set of Amazon levers. Didn't get these from any of the typical sites I would normally shop at. Yes, I'm a huge fan of Revzilla, Rocky Mountain ATV, all of those great sites, but why was I gonna spend $80 on one replacement lever when I could spend whatever it was, 38 bucks to have a set of two new folding levers, blue anodized to match my bike. It was a no brainer to me. Yes, there are some negative reviews in the Amazon page. That's why we're gonna be applying some Loctite during the installation to make sure no screws come loose. But that being said, it's all the same aluminum at the end of the day. So that's what matters to me. Uh, and price also matters to me as I'm sure it matters to a lot of you guys. So let's jump into the box here. Really cool box, it has this kind of overlay design on it, slow reveal. Man, these things look beautiful. So as I was talking about, our new brake lever is a three finger design. I like that shorter design, super stoked to have that. And then our clutch lever, because most people want to retain the full leverage, uh, it is a, f actually, never mind, it's not a four. It looked like a four finger design to me because it's longer, but you can actually see it's the same three finger design. I'm stoked about that. The lever is definitely much longer than the brake lever, which is gonna give us that leverage we need to pull in the clutch easily. Like I said, it is a pivot folding back design, so if I lay the bike down again, the lever can pivot this way. Oh, yeah, it can pivot really far. So it's got a pivot design, and in addition to that, both levers have adjustable reach. That's what this little, little screw and jam nut is for. We can actually extend this screw out, and that will increase the reach. So if you don't want the lever like right next to your bar, you can extend the reach out. That's gonna be helpful for me because I have a bit bigger hands. So overall, really nice adjustability there. It looks like we have full stainless hardware, CNC machined aluminum levers and blocks, really clean machining. Got a little hole in the end of the lever just for weight reduction. I love the blue anodized aluminum look. It shimmers in the light really nicely, kind of changes colors. Gonna add some nice bling to the bike. Let's jump into the installation and get these installed. So if you've crashed your bike and broken your brake lever like I have, your little rubber dust guard has probably come off. Apologize for the dirt on here. She needs a good bath, but anyways, your dust guard probably would have come off by now. If not, pull your rubber dust guard off. Pulling off your dust guard will reveal a 10 millimeter bolt and a 10 millimeter nut on the bottom. And removing this bolt, we'll release our lever. Be sure not to lose your little spring right here, your return spring. Now, as I said, good idea to apply some thread locker to all of your lever hardware. These are essential components for your bike. You don't want your lever screw falling out on the trail. So I'm going to just apply a little bit of red Loctite. Um, red is the heavy duty if you don't want you know, a pain removing it in the future, you can use blue, but with our thread locker on there, we can, oh, no, sh it doesn't fit, guys. All right, so five minutes later of grinding it down, yes, this fits right in here, but I noticed this is not the right lever. Like, I don't know, there must have been a packaging problem, but I'll show you guys, I, I received the correct clutch lever.
All right, guys, so we're now back. I've been working on the Beamer a ton. As you guys know, I've been working on the Jeep. We're finally revisiting the WR250R over here and those two levers that we tried to install last time. I don't know if I told you guys in the last clip, but I'm a dumbass. I ordered the wrong levers. I actually ordered WR250X levers instead of WR250R levers. Now, one would think they're the same, but the design is different. I'm just rocking these basic $20 gold levers right now, temporarily, um, while I waited for those correct levers to come in. But before we get into installing them, I do want to say I reached out to uh, MZS Tuning, first time I've ever communicated with them. And despite their policy of, you know, no warranty, no replacement, and unless you order from our website directly, I explained my situation. I was like, look, I'm really trying to get these levers on my bike. Don't know why they're not fitting. It says they're for a WR250X. And they're like, yeah, the design's actually different. And I was like, ah. Oh. But they sent me out a new set. We're gonna get them installed on the bike and see how they work. So here's the new set. We'll take a look at the old set really quickly here. So here's the old, well not old, but WR250X brake lever. And we'll take a look at the new set here. Bingo. So here's the new one. As you can see side by side, the uh, the WR250X, that little nub right there is a lot shorter than on the WR250R. So there's definitely a design difference in this knuckle assembly right here. The lever is obviously the same. The build quality is the same. Absolutely beautiful machined aluminum. Um, but yeah, this, this should go on there no problem. So let's go grab our eight millimeter or 10 millimeter. We'll grab those and pull off the temporary levers. Put these bad boys on. Now here's the moment of truth. Grab our spring and whatnot. I mean, I guess we don't have to reinstall our spring and bolt just yet, but just test fit it. Oh, beautiful fit. Fits perfectly right there. All right, I'm gonna grab a little grease because I have found it important to grease this little pivot bolt because as you can see, most of this bolt, camera will focus. So you can see most of this bolt is just rounded it's it's smooth it's not threaded so that's actually a pivot point where we want to be careful not to torque this down too much we also want to grease it up just a little bit so we'll just get a little glob of grease dab it on don't forget about your little return spring that needs to be in this hole on the cylinder and it also needs to line up on this hole on the knuckle so line those guys up get the spring inserted and then we'll insert our bolt Get that nut back on the bottom, get our wrench on it, and tighten this down. Obviously, we don't have to tighten it very tight at all, but... Okay, make sure that the lever pivots. And yeah, our new lever is now on here. Oh, already feels sweet compared to the two past levers I've used. Wow, nice. Now, if you guys recall, I did mention that a few people experienced or claimed to experience this screw or bolt falling out during use. So simple solution to that, we're just gonna apply some strong Loctite and tighten it down well. So that's really all we need to do. I've got myself two four millimeter Allen heads here to remove that. So I'm just gonna pull it off, apply some Loctite and reinstall it. All right, our new levers are on, looking really good. Matches the color of the bike quite nicely. Clutch lever really wasn't that bad. I just removed the adjuster, pulled the lever out, disconnected the cable, put my new one on and we're ready to go. So let's pull the bike off the stand, take her outside and try these levers out. not think I'd say this, but wow, these levers make a big difference. You really wouldn't think the levers like improve the riding experience that much, but I really like the feel of these. The ones I was using, they're a little bit thick, a little bit heavy. These are thin, lightweight, and it's surprisingly like it's genuinely easier to pull in the clutch now and it just feels a lot smoother. I'm really impressed. So here they are out in the daylight, so you can see them again. 
Really like the color, looks sweet. And yeah, like I was saying, really nice being able to adjust the, the distance between our bar and our lever, how far away our leverage, adjusting that reach. And it's just really smooth. I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, but really liking the feel of this. Super smooth, folding action works great, as you can see, folds all the way back. Not gonna test that out quite yet, but they both do fold back nicely. Good strong spring. So yeah, that's gonna wrap up this video. I do apologize for the confusion in the beginning with the wrong set of levers, but lesson learned. Good to know there's a difference. Overall, for 38 bucks, you cannot go wrong with this set of MZS tuning levers, adjustable and folding, both sets. Come on, just my opinion, but I don't know why you'd go out and spend $90 on one lever and then another $90 on the other when you can purchase for a fifth of the cost, you can get a pair of levers. So I don't know why you would go any other way. If these break, if they fail, I'll buy another set. It'll still be less expensive than buying one more expensive lever. So that's my take on it. They look good, they feel good. I'll keep you guys updated, of course. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please go leave a like down below. Subscribe for more content. Tune back in next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time on JD Cars. Uh -oh.